one of the telltale films of what's been going on. In terms of publication date, who made it, who starred in it, what it contained, and what it uh, conveyed. The film Diva has a particularly interesting moment that speaks pretty loudly to why there was an invasion of the Ukraine, support the, the uh, person who's really the villain and running the police department. Makes a bogus tape uh, from a woman who tried to give him away and says we'll have to throw them a bone and he the bogus tape names one of his underlings what happened with faux call we know in the 80s is that well um colin powell and the british rock industry were making out um Focal was meeting for the fundamentalist tripartite in a genocide enrichment program that was adopted by UW Dialectical. And all through the AIDS attack, Foucault's and Derrida's philosophy of mourning and so forth. I mean, even Glaude's, Derrida's piece was adopted through the looking glass for Glasnost. You see, Penis Gabriel put out Blood of Eden as a affirmation of the Texas school book, which was Two Virgins Pussy Ball. And you had the stigma, uh, the stigmata of Gorbachev's um, birthmark. So the mark of Cain was the blood of Eden and then so on and so forth. And this was an Axis turnaround system that was mongered by the Crook Agri Goose Corona. And I knew from the semiotics that D.W. Griffith, from back in the days when the the feed had reasserted their power after the Civil War, put up birth of a nation for glamour. He put up the burning cross. And that's how the KKK got the idea for the burning cross. And then they used Reagan's wartime films. He, then they made Reagan's wartime films with Errol Flynn, who knew Houdini. So although I knew that they, from the semiotics, they were telling the story of rescuing Hitler and putting him in charge of the parochial authoritarianism of for protecting virginity and enforcing virginity, the two virgin pussy bowl were f club, fight club during the AIDS attack, which was eugenic and included Obama. He was allowed to get ahead, but it, because he was the good kind, you know. This simple um, egoism of the dictator called killed, you know, the simple egoism of the the black macho in securing his share of the expanding pie, is what Reagan called it, um, was not enough to explain everything that was going on. But when you look at Valeva's Fall the Fourth, you realize that the pussy rod in the Beijing 2022 was Putin saying, you know, look at Wisfansky the fourth way. He's been talking to Eno on the phone all through these folk called years. Back when his partner Fripp introduced me, friends of Wispansky, the Gurdjieff people who were in Paris with Gurdjieff. And Wispansky was working with not the rock stars, but Prokofiev, the classical musician who most closely resembles the programmatic music of things like Genesis. So you have. Um, at Sandfield, who's Pinecraft, is things like Isis Siliani, Vespers, and Uvalde, and so forth. You know, KC was a symbol for James Bond, James K, James C. You know, it was an Axis um, computer language system, so to speak. And people who are, have the patience to look at what James Bond meant when you had this KC dialogue going about white liberals, white clansmen. The white clansman is the better man to lead the black man because he understands chivalry and the protection of virgins and so on. You know, Casper the friendly ghost in Argentina. I knew the egoism was a, that was a work from D.W. Griffith, but what I didn't get, and I also could see that Lenin can't escape. I mean, you can with the simple cost benefit analysis and the fact that I was in DC with his attorneys when Reagan put out the dare wave to me, I dare you to try to tell somebody 
that you would rather believe the Kennedy's head went backwards, went down rather, says it went forwards and so on. I dare you to try to flip. His attorney had a brochure that read there's no such thing as objective reality, only what the jury believes. The evidence is clear. The Texas school board, gay old Carolyn Burst, and it's like gay onus bombs bursting, Christmas caroling. It's a homophone for Christian Armageddonism from the war college and ducks that they use. Ronnie and Casper attack me, Ronnie Zinsky. So you have this use of Caspers and Index. And Errol Flynn worked with the man who developed the Burning Cross for the KKK and Reagan's War Hunts films. And he lived in uh, Laurel Canyon where Houdini lived. So you see from Veronica Lakes, now you see it. The, where she you pulls out the Ace of Spades, which is a symbol of death, and then disappears and is resurrected. What, King Edward was up to when he put together the fearful baloney and the brouhaha and the pompous Christians of Cecil B. DeMille, who Alan Dulles um, appointed to in charge of Radio Free Europe. But what you, I didn't get was how loudly this, for them, very good ideas written into the cards. When you go back to the 1920s, 1910, when Wispensky, the fourth way psychologist or the fourth dimension psychologist, was with Prokofiev and because he was doing his sets, you then understand what the rock world was working from, what McCartney was working from with the Magical Mystery Tour back in the 20s. They already had the basis for the idea of Houdini and Hitler into the fourth dimension, making it look like he died. And see, the script talks about the Texas School Book by Gail Burst and Gail Raven, his name in connection with Jack Ruby. And Jack Ruby's attorney beamed down from Star Trek. His name was Melvin Belly. The car, he was with John Wayne and the weirdest movie ever made, The Green Berets. It opens with a Marine singing in German. You know, well, when the Axis overthrew America with the secret Houdini of cows for the friendly ghost, they killed JFK. And the Texas school book went into print. Edwin Walker was one of the brainstorms behind. He knew Eisenhower as my father did. I never got to talk to my father about Edwin Walker. But you can't extricate them. It's easy to prove that important Houdini. A lookalike of Gail Burston, who wrote, has very distinctive looks. It's on the cover of God Save the Queen by Robert Fripp, which came out before none and pulled his cows for the friendly ghost refused. K and C, Ken Crumsey K, James Bond, James K and C, the white liberal white um, clansman, fused into cows for the friendly ghost. Uh, the reason you can prove that he faked it. It's because Gail Burson's look like appears on God Save the Queen. You can't actually get Nabucco and her stupid code about what boys should do and girls should do. Nabucco was the um, star of the film Children of Hiroshima. The semiotics of two version pussy bowl permeate what the Beatles did. You can't just actually catch on that from. Then you have the cost benefit analysis issue which is look how much they benefited by pulling a fake with Hollywood craft. And then you have my presence there. And of course, the anomalies are poisoning me out before Exxon 19, which you call COVID-19 and so forth. And this German Green Party getting revenge in an access turnaround system. But the point is, is that until you realize that, that Wispansky was positioned to influence D.W. Griffith and probably cross paths with that nasty, nasty Walt Disney. Once you put Disney and Wispensky in the same place at the same time, you have the makings of this idea of getting Donald Duck to safety, you know, getting Hitler to safety, making it look like he died, and it'll be just like starting over, only from the fourth dimension. So now you have a dictator who's hidden, and he's playing God. You see, and that's the fourth dimensional idea of the Houdini dictatorship that Wispensky um, uh, 
makes um, coherent. Like, it's not enough to just say, well, there's a personality cult involved. Hitler survived or is symbolized by Casper, which is true, but that's not enough. Demagogues need more than that because ideology is more powerful than just the dictator. The dictator dies, ideology lives on. You had a conceptual basis for this. And that's where Wisponsky comes in, the fourth dimensional ploy of the hidden Houdini. And they, because Picasso was working with Bacofia doing set designs, we also see how it came to be used for skyscraper images. And the entire environment was lit up with the fourth dimensional psychology of God's holy Hitlerianism. So what we're seeing with Foucault and the tip off about Wisponsky is that these oligarchs who are playing leapfrog behind the hot scenes, going from one country to another with their big bags of money, the, the mysterians of the oligarchy that were once called Illuminati, you could call them Mula Rula Kakadula if you want to, but the, what they're doing is playing leapfrog behind the scenes while putting up a front of the nation state. The nation state is the third dimension, but their leapfrogging is the fourth dimension. You have a puppet show going on behind the scenes where they're just laughing at everybody. And SCOTUS was in on this stuff. You know, they're a little bit uh, on, uh, accountable because of what happened on January 6th. There's hope that there can be some accountability, like um, Nuremberg. But the professional issue is evidence. And the evidence clarifies that Lenin pulled a Houdini. And the issue traces back to probably six months before Einstein's special theory of relativity. So these people were in place to include developments like the atom bomb in their thinking. So they have this idea, which is a darn good idea, to make it look like Hitler, make Hitler's death a double fantasy and have him escape and then have one of um, Edward's favorites help him from behind the scenes in a fourth dimensional um, prerogative of killing people and they'll have a genocide enrichment program with um, camp stories like this one. So they, you know, but they're killing our children, your body, they killed our grannies. And the argument is that there's not enough food. Well, there's not enough food because these assholes are, are, are clogging up things with their mecha Godzilla machinery. It's, it's not, the, you know, they're, they're, they're Toasting themselves is brilliance for putting on the genocide enrichment entertainment base from Mysterians that will fascinate comic book dealers. But it's but it's the bogus hogs worship Ken Crimson and being a scent filled and you know the idea of them laughing by saying, Oh, well we're the leaders of the Green Party is a little bit much. I mean, you know, because the Ending Hunger was a project this time had come back in the 80s. You know, so I don't go along with this um, uh, stuff about like genocide being necessary. You know, we, what's necessary is for people to calm down and cut with the fossil fuels and break ties with this freeloading fourth dimensional fossil fuel magnate ploy from the leapfrog oligarchs, in my humble opinion, is where I'm coming from. I have seen the Texas school book. They won't let me put in print. They won't let me um, uh, explain it because the UW idiots went along with Foucault. You know, I mean, you could see why they did because everybody, but it was trick. They fell for the trick of the Houdini puppet show that Lennon put on. But the truth is Lennon was a venom. But he was... Uh, canny enough to make it look like he was fighting his villainy, like it's always an enemy within that he was wrestling with, which was a very shrewd way to go about this performance.